Our celebrity today has definitely been doing music for ages, though these days he doesn't do jams anymore. He's on TV, he's on radio, he's a hype man, he's a business guy, he's basically everything everywhere. Or as he likes to say, he's selling the hype. Welcome the one, the only, DNG! <laughs> Excited to be here, man. Studio Naka 50. Thanks so much, bro. Congratulations Welcome. on the relaunch, man. I can see you K24. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you for coming through. Anytime. Uh -huh. Anytime. So we are, we, are we are still selling the hype, right? Mm -hmm. Basana. Mm -hmm. You know, the hype is, is, is the anchor of the, of the industry, man. I think if the, if the game doesn't have energy, if the game is boring and flat, mm -hmm. it ceases to be exciting, it ceases to be attractive. So yeah. I remember, you know, at a time when you know, music or my entertainment ili kwa chini. Um haikuwa na 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 ile ule mzuka. And I do, do believe that that's what my brand brings to the table. You know, yeah. when a corporate comes on board and says, you know, I want to work with DNG or we want to put DNG on this stage, they know exactly what to expect. Yeah. 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 But do you miss the music though? Because it's do. been a while since you dropped a jam. <laughs> yeah. It calls my name. It calls my name so bad. I think every time I walk into a studio yeah. or every time I hang out with an yeah. artist or I watch, you know, artists do their thing. I feel like, hey, maybe I should go back. Because your yeah. last jam was what? Banjuka the remix? No, my last jam was, um, we did a project with a crew called La Familia. Uh -huh. yeah. We did a yes, song yes, called yes. Uh, Rochuma. Rochuma, I think, yes, was our last I release. That's La maybe Familia. 2012 there, but that was yeah. the last time yeah. I walked into a studio to record. Yeah. yeah. You and know, I'm, it's so funny, this past week on TV, uh, on Thursday, Yeah. I played your jam with Jalango. Katumbo Katumbo dance. Dance. I was <laughs> like, what? Yeah, man, just pushing barriers. <laughs> Before that, I'd done Lingala. Yeah. You know, I, I do believe, like, as an artist, you should always explore and try to do yeah. different things. And Especially this. now, like, th there's been this whole surge of Kenyan music. Yeah. We're not playing Nigerian music anymore. Yeah. So it's all about the 254. Yeah, it's and working. And new sound, right? It's working. So are, are you looking working? at these kids and you're like, I wish I could jump on something with For you me, guys? Like, I'm so excited to hear a new sound. Because yeah. I remember when Genge first came out. Yeah. The original Genge. Yes. Guys were like, what's this? There are a lot of haters like, ah, say how rap, one on gear, quad track. Because we are so used to, to that Kapuka beat, you yes. know? And then it came, it took over, and, and now, you know, we have a new sound, which yeah. is great. I think, you know, they're expressing themselves. Mm -hmm. the, you know, they, we've seen a lot of hate being, being directed their way, especially around the content. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you know, as an artist, you should be able to, to have the courage yeah. to express yourself. Even if people are going to hate on your song, mm -hmm. put it out. Yeah. It's your song. It's your vibe. It's, that's what you feel. Yeah. You know, who are we to control poetic expression? Yeah. In fact, now that we're even talking about refusing, on Spotted, these guys are talking about Ezekiel Mutua. Yeah. And how, I mean, he's... Because I, I know... He's a hater. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't beat about that. Look, voice, look, man. He's a hater, man. He's a hater. What, you know, talk about that, that organization he runs. How yes. has it helped the industry? Mm -hmm. Is Kenyan film really doing great? So how no. does he now move from an industry that's not even making money to come to entertainment and tell us how we're going to shoot our videos yeah. or how we... What are we going to sing about, yeah. surely? Yeah. But though he doesn't have Come the power to ban, though. He doesn't have the power I don't even know what that law says. He doesn't, he <laughs> doesn't, doesn't have the... He's, it's, so basically, he's, so why like, is he banning he's like an uncle who is yeah. giving a suggestion. Mm. Really? But you don't but need to follow his suggestion. suggestion. Oh, yeah? You far. don't need to follow his suggestion. No, I'm an uncle who is you should like I remember we I don't mean like an uncle who is a I'm an uncle who is Kitambo, like when I first put yeah. my locks, yeah. I was like, "Me ni kiamu akunyo and damu akunyo." Like, yeah. when he nani when he am getting you ready? Yeah. Yeah. But when you see our worker no, no. and sometimes he does things and entertains <laughs> us as well at the same time. But then, aside from being a musician, yeah. you're you're a hype man, one of the best in the Thank industry, you. right? Thank you. Now you have an amazing initiative called Punguza, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so tell us, what is Punguza and why did you start it? So first and foremost, you know, after being in the industry for I'm um, clocking 16 years in this. December, you yes. know, it's like, it reaches a point you think about purpose, you think about legacy, mm -hmm. and I decided to get into social impact. Mm -hmm. I started this in uh, 2017 mm -hmm. with Hasso Yako. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys remember you that. Get, you yeah. get you pushed yeah. Hasso Yako. Yeah, so Hasso Yako is just a mind what? change mm -hmm. uh, initiative where we're trying to show young people that uh, you don't need to get into crime, you don't need to be radicalized politically. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, you don't need to depend on government yeah. for you to, to eat. You can use the skills, mm -hmm. gifts and talents God has given you to turn mm -hmm. that into an income generating activity. So we pushed that since then. And then uh, we came across very uh, crazy statistics around uh, reproductive health, um, HIV AIDS infections, mm -hmm. teenage pregnancies, etc. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do something around that. So yeah. Pumuza is a youth sensitization initiative that's about um, responsible sexual behavior, mm -hmm. trying to trigger that conversation because mm -hmm. a lot of young people hide behind the sidelines. We're too scared to talk about sex because, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> but like you know without us having the conversation yeah. we don't get the right information yes. we don't even know about contraceptives mm -hmm. we don't know mm -hmm. which health facilities we can walk into mm -hmm. without being judged as mm -hmm. soon as walking the door yeah. mm -hmm. So that's what Punguza is. And I feel like you need to clear the air because there's yeah. also Punguza Mzigo. <laughs> I feel like I, you need to. Yeah, man. To it's, clear. Like, it's like Arena 254 and 254 Entertainment. <laughs> it's all 254. Like, you know I, what I'm I saying? I feel like if we're not part of this Punguza thing, now that you yeah, brought yeah, our yeah, 254 yeah. in it, it's so, going to be a problem. So I think it's just, you know, um, um, great minds thinking alike. Yeah. yeah. I love what um, the Punguza Mzigo stands for yeah. because, I, you know, for me, I do support it 100%. I yeah, think yeah. even so you're talking about it somewhere. I think you brought yeah. something. About yeah. that I think we need to have a, a leaner government, that's yeah. for sure. It's yeah. great. But just to clarify, we are not the yes. same. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I've never met a court. A court. I'm, I'm waiting to <laughs> yeah. meet him. I think we should have an appointment after this. <laughs> but like uh, ours is very different. Just yeah. the name is the same. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is to reduce mm -hmm. year two is mm -hmm. to reduce irresponsibility, mm -hmm. you know. And, and when you talk about that, you know, what's the big question? Like, looking at uh, teenage pregnancies, for example, mm -hmm. and 400,000 uh, teenage pregnancies every single year, yeah. and then those numbers, um, isn't there a possibility to reduce them? Yeah. I think it is. And there's yes. been, like, a huge discussion, especially in the coast area, on yeah. teenage pregnancies and, and how even the, the issue we had in the slums, our girls would would sell themselves Transactional to get Transactional sex, yes, and, indeed. And, and, the teenage pregnancies continue to rise, but no one's having a discussion. Do you know? Do you know? Yeah. Like in Kilifi alone, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the press release I sent you guys, we, yeah. we've uh, documented uh, uh, a UNICEF report. Yeah. And this report talks about Kilifi in particular mm -hmm. as a county that has forty thousand uh, teenage pregnancies every single year, repeated mm -hmm. after repeated. Mm -hmm. And um, the transactional sex there is so bad that the community is aware, mm. the parents are aware, mm -hmm. and they do not uh, restrain the children from going to, mm -hmm. to engage in, in sexual mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. um, in Kilifi, the, the issue is that poverty is so bad yeah. that um, there's nothing to eat at home. Yeah. So the little girls walk to the beach and they find willing partners mm -hmm. and the willing partners pay. Wanasema mzungu analipa ngiri moja. Elfumo? Wamtoi akirudi home na yon ngiri inalisha familia yote. So mzazi anakaivi, anakazi. They have nothing. The farming is doing badly. Mm -hmm. They are really poor. Mm -hmm. And so the folks are like, you know what? You go and do it again. Yeah. And it works. And she does it again. Mm -hmm. And it works. So that's how they operate. Yeah. And, you know, and this, this video, you know, I, I came across from UNICEF is really crazy because it's on video and mm -hmm. parents are on video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. censoring With parental consent, the kids are saying, yes, this is what we do for mm -hmm. a living. Yeah. In the slums, it's the same. Yeah. Hakuna do. Mm -hmm. Hakuna food. Yeah. Yeah. Landlord ndo huyo, yeah. anadai yake, mm -hmm. yeah. na kuna buda fulani, ama msetu fulani ya kuna do. Yeah. Ada yeah. kama ni miambili. Yeah. Yeah. Later. But like, what I'd be interested to know about, because you've, like, you've done like huge stats with your, with your initiative, right? Yeah. Why is Kilifi such a huge sector? Is it that in the urban area, the girls are, are more educated? or Because there's been a huge focus on that particular area. I think it's doing badly because of, of poverty. Yeah. Um, yes, there are other parts of the country that mm -hmm. are experiencing poverty as well, but with Kilifi and with the tourist uh, insurgents, mm -hmm. obviously, it makes sense. You know, mm -hmm. if yeah. you're poor and the tourist has come, mm -hmm. don't forget that sex tourism is very popular in yeah. this country. Yeah. Yeah. I think we never talk about it, but yeah. Kuna wase okuja Kilifi, Malindi, Watamu, Mkulanjaro, Watamu, Kupiga, Walamu, Nini, Wavrika, Nini, Melewa. So, Nikitu Iko. You are trying to get him back in the music, please. No, like, wana nukombie. Sa zingine, tunasema ati hile tuaristi yetu ni ya Masai, kuna Masai, siju kuona kuna Masai Mara, Amboseli. No, kuna mawase ukamo juwa na juwa Kenya nguime na ready. And they are easy. And all you need is, you know, that's only ten dollars. Yeah. $10, ten dollars is little money. It's little yeah. money for from the economy, yeah. you know. Like ten dollars, you can manzi. That's crazy. And you like get. internationally, I know the U.S. has been having a huge debate on 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 sex and and family planning to the point that they've even closed down 
one of the largest family planning clinics in the country because they are against abortion and they well the the government the current government says that this is not something we're going to support yeah what do you feel we should do differently as a government as opposed to what other governments are doing because i feel like a lot of people are spoken up against that and they're <coughs> saying that's the reason our kids are doing these things behind our backs yeah, yeah first and foremost we, we all know that abortion is illegal yeah. in this country yeah mm -hmm. um and, and you cannot stop abortion unless you deal with the unwanted pregnancies. Yeah. Mm. So the only way to deal with unwanted pregnancies is not to shut down organizations, mm -hmm. but it's to offer first the right information mm -hmm. to young people. Some guys don't even know that if you have unprotected sex, you'll get somebody pregnant. Mm. <laughs> like people don't know the basic yes. information, like yeah. for real. And we've been doing this since February, mm -hmm. just you know, engaging mm -hmm. with young people from across the country, getting, getting data also access to contraceptives mm -hmm. yeah. you know young people fear to walk into a chemist or pharmacy to ask for a packet of cds mm -hmm. yeah. if i ask you have you ever walked into a chemist and i'm asked, not gonna say that no 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 it. say it like have you ever i think this is a discussion no 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 on no, the spot. Too, but have Obviously, you? as 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 an urban kid, uh -huh. I don't have a problem mm. doing that, getting ha into a chemist. And aside from that, I have very liberal, supportive parents, yeah. and we have conversations yeah. together. If, even my teenage siblings, yeah, the, yeah, we have conversations with my yeah. parents. That's but I awesome. feel like, but, but that's what Punguza is about, that's, like having that's these what conversations. It is. Like why why should we fear? Yeah. To go and ask for something that's going to help us protect our health, mm -hmm. help us avoid unwanted pregnancy, yeah. mm -hmm. help us avoid STIs, mm -hmm. HIV AIDS, mm -hmm. that is what, at 33% prevalence yes. amongst youth. Yeah. Those are the new infection rates, yeah. which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like that's a third. Yeah. And yeah. now that we're, we're, we're speaking on this whole sex thing and you are the hype man and yeah. everything has to be hyped, yeah? What, <laughs> what, what activities is Punguza um, going to be holding um, for Iranians at home who are like, oh, I'd love to be part of this organization yeah. or I'd love to have a conversation with yeah. your people. So first of all, let's plug in. Uh -huh. You know, we're online. Our pages are active. Go to Punguza KE. Mm -hmm. It's Punguza KE. Um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. So mm -hmm. we started with social media engagement because it's the, it's, the, it's the most accessible, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. for us to reach people immediately. Mm -hmm. So we just, we've been putting conversations out there. We've talked about the consent age. We've talked about, um, you know, the contraceptive challenge. We've mm -hmm. talked about transactional sex. So these are conversations that we started doing in February. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's been, we've been getting really great support mm -hmm. and, and, and feedback. That's how we're learning and making the campaign very diverse. Yeah. We've also gotten a lot of suggestions online. So keep, feel free to keep sh sharing that. Like, mm -hmm. Uh, people have suggested for us to include people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. So we're working towards that. We've currently uh, gotten somebody who's going to partner with us to interpret mm -hmm. during each and every event and uh, activation. Mm -hmm. um, access to, you know, like the female condom six mm -hmm. are like, okay, how can we get this? So we're, we're starting to give them out for free. Mm -hmm. And, and we, in terms of activities that we want to do, um, the media tour that we're currently on mm -hmm. and, and wrapping up today is the second phase of this activation. Yeah. Um, it's been really successful because we've been able to reach out to the entire nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, today we had our first regional interview talking to East Africans. So yeah. we were broadcasting on, on paid platforms. We're doing our first in, in international uh, interview again uh, this coming month, mm -hmm. uh, September. So, you know, we're just waiting for the confirmed dates. Yeah. So the, the message is going global, and that's yeah. beautiful. Apart from that, you know, we want to do events. So we did our first one mm -hmm. in, uh, in August during the, the International Youth Day. Mm -hmm. We did a, a, a pilot of this with an organization called Youth, Youth Nairobi mm -hmm. based in Gidurai 44. So yeah. we walked into that Muta. Wow. You know, the setup was done, stage, entertainment. Again, don't forget the power of music and the power of entertainment yes. to yeah. draw numbers and to engage young people. I think corporate brands have been able to, 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 to do that very effectively. Yeah. Yes. So even if we're trying to do social change or impact or, or behavior change, we cannot leave that out. So yeah. in that particular event, we had, you know, entertainment happening, mm -hmm. rappers throwing down. We had a, a beauty pageant for the shorties to see who's yeah. the finest in them. <laughs> you know, and, and on the periphery, we had HIV AIDS testing, yeah. we had cancer screening, we had yes. peer educators yeah. activating the brand and, and just talking to young people. We're encouraging them to make a Punguza pledge. Yes. So young girls would come to our stand and say, you know what, me, Nikonama Dem Kumi, 
na punguza ni kwenda watano na hiyo ni progress na hiyo ni effort yeah 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 kurefu punguza you see we cannot say we are doing a 100% yes. conver- conversion yes. and now tutakuwa perfect uh, yeah. you don't need to be perfect Start in life from you are yeah you just need to you know work on yourself and become a better person take that step every day mm-hmm. yeah And, and apart from that we also had uh, access to contraceptives so we're giving out free mm-hmm. CDs for guys to show up and for me in terms of policy as you're saying with stakeholders yeah. I'm, I'm the thing that's at the back of my mind is how can contraceptives be available for free, free. Mm. Yes. because young people perhaps do not have the money like mm-hmm. if you're selling yourself for a thousand shillings yes. obviously you don't have money to buy contraceptives mm-hmm. yes that's for real yeah. mm-hmm. and and so I've been talking to county governments national yeah. government uh, representatives even health health networks yeah. like I'll yeah. be interested to know though yeah. especially when it comes to stakeholders because what are those conversations going like are you finding open arms sometimes are you finding it sometimes in yeah. fact uh, most of the times you find that they're willing to but mm-hmm. they say they don't have a budget mm-hmm. so in kenyan language not having a budget means what you're trying to do is not important yeah <laughs> or it's not a priority mm-hmm. would rather eat the money yes then help the young people of this country yeah. would rather build a governor's mansion mm-hmm. yeah then provide contraceptives and, and reduce so hiv aids rates in this country yeah. Yeah. of which at the end of the day the population yes. affects their budgets and even more and don't yeah. forget the youth are 67 yes. i don't know about the new census maybe it's going to have a different number mm-hmm. but we are the majority yes but the budget that is allocated for young people is, is the least impact yeah. i don't even know if it exists <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like i was on another tv station saying like you know like we have like for example mtua's office yes Why isn't that office closed? It should be closed <laughs> and that budget be given to young people yeah. and contraceptives instead of complaining and tweeting at this music is bad. Yeah. Mm. That is not helping reduce HIV AIDS rates in this yes. country. Mm-hmm. If you ban one lambes, does that mean that guys are going to stop uh, yeah. having having unprotected sex? No. Yeah. Are they are, are we going to see young people stopping selling their bodies so that they can eat? No. Strong facts. Strong, strong facts, strong boss. Facts, like how man. it's like a guy looking at the, the, the this problem upside down. Yeah. yeah without reason yeah. but now for the Surely. for the youth out there who are thinking sawa umesema government is in for us ndio nani mm. atatusaidia but you you have a very interesting story i just want just want to take back to your yeah. background yeah you grew up in kibera right kibera yeah. born and born Kibra. and raised in in, in line saba <laughs> sile <laughs> number 8 wing yeah. ni line saba but you went to some of but the yes, best Kibra schools yeah yes. the best schools in kenya so yeah. how did you help yourself to to punguza the things that will derail you and become the best hype man in the country I I think I think for me it's first to have a very strong uh, background from a parental perspective mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. like my mom yes hapo ndo aliweza kupata keja hapo ndo tume grow mm-hmm. and and yeah pia ni hustler mm-hmm. you know big shout out mom wherever you are watching hope you are and 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 you know that hustler spirit is what I have today yeah like my mom had to really work hard to against all odds to make uh, ends meet mm-hmm. and today I'm the kind of person I am because I'm 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 hard working I'm able to identify opportunities mm-hmm. I'm able to mm-hmm. network and I'm able to get things done. Yeah. And and you know so I think if if you have that kind of spirit every day that you're w- willing to be a better person mm-hmm. and willing to grow mm-hmm. and you're not satisfied with where you are mm-hmm. at hey you can make anything happen yeah. in this yeah. world. Yeah. Have you got any testimonials yet? Regarding from the from, from Kunguza, Kunguza initiative in. and going everywhere it's been crazy like some of the things I was talking to you about like young people saying we can't go to the yes. to the pharmacies that's true like mm. I, was, I was on a telecom on a radio station this week and somebody said like yeah yeah yani heri yangia dry dry kuliko kuingia pale kusimama na kucha cd kwa Yeah. pharmacy so that's the kind of feedback and you know it's really encouraging we have some some obviously some some health partners that are willing to to, to yes. assist so mm-hmm. far so great like for example um i was in a round table and uh, one of the people told me that they're willing to give contraceptives at a discounted rate of 50 shillings mm-hmm. wow, wow. That, that's a commitment wow. yeah. and 50 shillings means that it's it may not be free yes. and affordable to all but for for some it is and that's a step in the right yes, direction yes that's, yeah. that's a definite step from zero to to yeah. that so that's the kind of feedback we we're, we're getting yeah. obviously we need more in terms of policy and more in terms of budgeting mm-hmm. yes and organizations have money some of these organizations i've been talking to are sitting on billions yeah Yes. in terms of budget. Yeah. yeah. And it's just for us to knock on those doors and say, you know what, like young people in this country need help. Yeah. So if you can subsidize or if you can give them a prorated free mm-hmm. uh cost. Yeah. That's beautiful. But awesome. this is this is impressive. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, before we wind up